the most powerful motivational speeches that I have ever heard came from people who told me I couldn't do something. <laughs> you know why? Because when they told me I couldn't do it, I was bound and determined to show them that I could. Tell me I can't do it. I will prove you wrong. I will show you <laughs> that you mistake it. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil uh, Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. I think one of my greatest inspirations or, or, or things that I would feed off of basically was just obviously people not believing in the, you know, the cloud of doubt that kind of, I felt hung over my head and wanted to just prove everybody wrong. You know what I mean? I wanted to make it and I was gonna make it regardless of what anybody said. There will be people along the way who will say to you, you're dreaming too big. It's not possible. Those things just can't happen. Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming is not possible. It is possible. And I, I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. When you make the decision to do what you want to do with your life, just know this, because the family and the friends in your life do not share your vision, in most cases, they will be the first person to try and talk you out of what you want to do with your life. But know this, only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So because they don't see what you see, doesn't mean that you're supposed to settle and not do the things that God has sent you in your mind and your spirit. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. You have to believe in one thing, and that is yourself. And, and I'm not saying don't believe in God or what you believe in, but right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Shut the fuck up, go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Period. I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind.